All right, let's take our um, free weights. No, excuse me, our bands. <laughs> Starting with our band, there it is. Starting with our bands, go overhead. I need to change my view as people are coming in. The view is, uh, I wanna see you guys bigger. Okay, great. So you're gonna take your arms overhead, good morning, and pull the band down to your chest. Exhale, pull, that a girl, Michelle. And what we'll do is start with our cues while here. Check that your knees are soft. Check that when your arms are overhead, you've still got the little rib pull down sensation. Your neck is soft, your shoulder blades are down the back. And exhale, pull wide. And six more. And five more. Four. Three. Two. Now a little bonus right here. Do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And now we're going to take the band and step on the band. Heels. Bend. And straighten and bend and straighten and bend and straighten and five six seven eight this is for the front of the arm nine the wrist is neutral ten eleven twelve 13, 14, and 15. See if you can do five more. If it's getting too hard, what you can do is also just step on the band with one heel. Two, one more, one. Now take the band behind your upper back, press out. Uh, can you guys do this? I see Jean's having trouble getting in. Let me just see what she's saying. Um, uh, okay. Let me send it. Keep going. <clears throat> I'll send her a link to her text. She said she didn't get it for email twice, so let me try her text. Keep going. All right, try five more. Now take your band behind your head, there she is, and press up. Now this is triceps. Hey Jean, we'll have to figure out why you didn't get the two emails, so I'll, I'll text you later this evening to see what happened. I sent two emails earlier. I'm not sure why they didn't come in. Try your band and press up with your band. Six, seven, there you go. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, back of the arm, probably burning. 14, 15, take the other hand to it. 15 on the other side. So one arm has your band here at the low back. That hand stays still, but the top hand does the moving. Two, three, four, five, six, and lengthen that arm. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Now take the band behind your upper back, palms face up. We're gonna do a little breaststroke motion. So begin pushing out, but then while you're still stretched out, bring it to narrow. Go wide, keep it stretched out, bring it to narrow. Three, four, five, six, Seven. Now eight the other way. Eight. Seven. Six. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Now step on your band, heels in the middle, pull your elbows out and out. There you go. And out. You got it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, now try five more. These are a shorter lever, 16, 17, good. 18, 19, 20. Now uh, release that, take your arms to the front and your elbows are long. You're gonna pull the band to your chest. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now take a moment just to release your shoulders, little circles, and then you're going to take your hand to one hand's an anchor and one hand's going to do the work. Bow and arrow. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Way to get out of the neck, Michelle. Ten. Other side. <clears throat> Exhale. Press out. Ten, nine, eight. Good. Seven. And return slowly. Six. So you get a workout on both. Five. Now we're going to use the band as a stretch tool. Go up and behind yourself five times. Now if you don't feel it, get your hands in closer. If you feel it too much or you're having to bend your elbows to make it happen, take the hands wider. We are going to hold it behind. Hold. Five, four, three, two, and then go back a little lower. Five, four, three, two, and then a lower, five, four, three, two, and lower. Nice job, grab a sip. Now also grab your heavier hand weights. <clears throat> Let's say five to uh, eight, somewhere in there. I'm gonna take off the shirt, but I'll meet you here. Take a bicep curl. Two. Good. Knees are soft. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, uh, let the hand weights stay here. Now lift up your heels. We'll sneak in a little legs with our weights. Two, three, four, five, six, Calf raises, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now open up the legs more like a shoulder width apart. Pretend you're going to sit down and then you pick up the suitcase, you know, or you're picking up a suitcase. Now, as you do this, if it's making your neck strain to look at me, you can look towards the floor as you go down. Five. 
and try to keep the heart up a little, six, seven, neck is soft, you can shake it out, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to flip the hands towards your thighs. Let your elbows come up, knees are soft, neck is soft, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Michelle, we did some calf raises and we did some squats and we did the bicep curls, I think is where you left. Try two more. Now before you let go of your weight, let's do a second set of calf raises with your weight by your side. Go up and down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a little bit wider feet. And this will be our second set of squats. And you're, you're, um, when you check your neck while you're doing this, if don't try to look at me the whole time if it makes your neck strain. So when you move your knees, when you lower, you may need to look down to the floor. Neck soft. Don't force your neck to keep looking up if it hurts, right, or if it's tense. Now we're going to lower these down and just for a moment take a little sway, just a release of tension. We're going to be, um, I'll tell you what we're doing next as we release tension in the fingers and hands. We're going to be doing a lateral raise which looks like this. We're going to take a lighter weight most likely than what you just had for your biceps. So when you're ready, take, and actually let's add one hand stretch. Circle your hands and then circle them the other way. Love that one. Now take some weights that you will allow you to go out to the side and smaller than most likely than your bicep curling. So maybe three, four, five, six pounds. One, two, neck is soft, knees are soft. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now you can do five more. If you are getting fatigued, you can also grab another weight that's smaller and finish out. All right, now uh, leave those there. Do a third set of calves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a third set of squats. Last set. So we snuck the calves and the legs in there. This is the last set, but we're doing them with weights. Four. So if it's getting too hard, relax the weights down and just do your legs. Good. Your knee tracks with your second toe. Two more. You control how low you go as well, right? Now, let's get rid of those weights for a moment. Interlace your fingers at the low back. Go up into a stretch. Five. Grab a sip if you'd like, and then we're going to take it to the front with our up front raises. <laughs> front raises. Take your hand weights to the front and then lower and exhale. Four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, <laughs> thirteen, fourteen. Now again, if you can take up to five more, you go for it. If it's getting too heavy, grab a smaller weight. Let's do two more. Nice. Lower that down for a moment and take it up and over and just take a little rotation here. Five, four, three, two, now go up and over, five, four, three, two, one. Now you may grab two smaller weights that you can do a tricep press with. So the other option is you take one heavier weight, but see if you can take the hand or the weights together if you're doing two and the beveled edges hit, hit each other, then behind you, you straighten one and then your ribs tuck down two yeah you've got time to change the weights if you want four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13. Now see if you can do five more, but if not, you just get rid of one of those weights or you grab a lighter weight or lighter weights. Two. One. Now lower down for a moment. Now I'm going to offer prayer pose, but behind. So prayer pose behind. Walk your fingertips up. If that doesn't work, just interlace fingers like we did before and lift. Five. Good. Three. You can add a little wiggle if you'd like. Two. Just release tension. And one. Let that out. And let's take your prayer pose to the front, but lower it until you have a hand stretch and a forearm stretch. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now, the next one, you can wiggle it out like Liberace. The next one is going to be overhead. You could do this seated as well if you'd like. Uh, you're going to take an overhead press. Take your hand weights right where there's a natural shelf and push up. Okay, I'll sit down too. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Six, and notice your neck, your shoulder blades are still down your back. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now, if you can do five more, if you need to lighten your weight, that's okay too. 16, yeah, there you go, babe. 17, or you can sit on a yoga block like this too if that makes your knees feel better. 17, 18, 19, take one more. Nice job, take it out. I think I did 21, but that's okay. Now, if you can take this one, the cow face pose, you can maybe catch your own arm and then hold. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and then switch it up. Interlace. Hello. And hobble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Shake it out. We're going to do a set of push ups anywhere you need to. So if you want to take them on your wall, you can. You want to take them on the floor, you can. There's a couple ways to do this here. All fours or hands and knees or hands and toes. 
So let's shoot for 15 to 20. You should feel your abdominals helping you as well. Inhale, your ears in line with your shoulder. Four, five, good. Six, that looks great. Seven, eight, nine, ten, good. Eleven, it's like you're pushing the wall away with your exhale. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Try five more. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and then twenty. And let's take an interlaced finger position and lift. Five, four, three, two, one. And then take a tricep press, or excuse me, tricep stretch, and then lean away from that. Five, four, three, two, and then the other. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna have it stay on the floor. Grab a Dynaband or two. We're gonna sit down with our feet in front of us. Grab a sip if you need. It can be quite efficient in 30 minutes of weight training. Now wrap one or two bands around your feet. That's not good, I'll put it right there. With your crossed strap, hold on so that when you start pulling, you've got tension right away. Pull. try 10 more. Neck is soft. Biceps, back of the shoulders and lats are working. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. And then we're going to take a band to cross it. Put your elbows by your rib cage. Open up your forearms. Yep, so this would only be one band or a lighter band than you just had. This is more therapeutic in nature. Six, really good for preventing shoulder round, uh, rounded shoulders. Also great for shoulder health. These muscles don't really get work during the day. So you have to go after them to keep them healthy because the front of the shoulders definitely get work during the day. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Now open up your elbows. It's kind of like you're making a T backwards. If you find that's too hard, you can uncross them and do it. Either way is fine. So your neck is uh, relaxed, meaning your shoulders are down the back. Try to resist the return. All right. Try eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now take your hands low and pull, let me get rid of my weights here, yeah. Pull beside your hips, but wide enough that your elbows are long, that you don't hit the floor, but you're just hovering above the floor. Rear shoulder, rear deltoid. Lats and also triceps are helping to keep your elbows long. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. We're going to do a set of biceps. I'm just going to grab a slightly heavier band, but put the band around your feet. Now you can ab curl a little bit and bend. Two, three, four, five, six. If it's still not hard enough, grab more band or lift your elbows. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woo! 
All right, let me uh, have us take a lateral flexion stretch. So take one arm up and over, five, four, three, two, inhale. Now go up and over, five, four, beautiful, three, two, and one, we'll do one rotation, rotate, 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 and then we can't go anymore, catch the floor. Open up your arms, rotate the other way. And then when you're ready, grab your foam roller and do a set of swans. And this is because we want strong bones in our back and we want strong muscles to keep us upright. Push your arms into the foam roller and go up. Everybody's got a foam roller today, but if you did not have one, you could use the floor. And I like it. Let your inhale help you go up. Inhales generally facilitate extension. So you feel like you can go higher with the inhale. Now hold yourself up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take a brief child's pose. And then you're going to go out for one plank. You can do this on the floor or you can do this on the uh, foam roller underneath your shins. And then just hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now take a moment to come up to sitting. And I want you to just rest in your bones. Take a big breath in. I want you to see if you can layer that breath with a big appreciation to your body. Look at how much it did in a 30 minute session to stay strong and healthy. Appreciation to all your muscles, the mind and the spirit. So we're gonna let that be our intention for the next two hours to stay especially appreciative of our physical cells, body, our mind, and our breathing. And with so much gratitude, I think you guys did great. Awesome job, awesome job. Talk to you soon, bye.